Morning folks and happy new year. This week I'm going to be making a pouch for my new Firebox Nano. So my daughter bought me this for Christmas. Um, I've just lit it the once just to try it out um, and I'm really impressed with it. It's uh, an amazing little stove. For, for such a small stove it's um, incredibly powerful and it works in the same way as the, the big firebox you know where you have these slots uh, where you feed wood in. Um, it came with a, a tin um, which I will use from time to time but what I'm really looking forward to using this for is uh, sort of lightweight backpacking. So what I'm going to do is make a lightweight pouch um, that I can slip this into just to keep soot and stuff away from the other contents of my backpack but that just means I won't have to take the bulkier tin with me every time. You know the idea is that it is minimalist. So that's the plan. Let's get started. I'm going to use waxed cotton canvas for this for this pouch. Um, I have a load of this left over from a previous project, so I'm going to use some of that up. Um, there's going to be two layers to this pouch. There's going to be an inner layer, a kind of lining if you like, and an outer layer. So I've got two different colours here just because I like that sort of two-tone look. Um, there'll be a, a, a fastening on the bottom of the pouch, and for that I'm going to use Velcro. Um, I just buy this in big reels like this. Uh, I'll put links to where I got the materials from in the description below. So uh, yeah, I'm going to use my sewing machine to stitch this together. You could do it by hand, but um, I have a I have a machine, so I'm going to use it. Okay, so what I've ended up with is two pieces of waxed canvas that measure 350 millimeters by 110. And that should give me enough that uh, when this is all sewn together, this part will be sewn together like this, forming an envelope that the stove can slip down inside. And then this bit will form a flap with Velcro along the bottom so that it will close. I'm also gonna have a little, uh, a little sleeve inside the pouch to take the little nano fire sticks. Um, you use these if you want to use a Tranger burner inside your uh, nano stove. Um, and obviously they're quite small, I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to make a little uh, a little sleeve that they'll just poke down inside and then when the top is over, when the flap is over and secured, there's no risk of them falling out. So the first thing I need to do is to sew these together uh, down three sides. So I'm going to sew down the long side along the short side at one end and then back up the other long side leaving the other end open. Just before I get started I get asked a lot about what thread I use um, in various projects I do. Um, I just tend to use the bog standard Gutterman or Gutterman polyester thread. Um, I've never had any problems with it, I use it for most of my projects um, with the exception of maybe um, you know thicker heavier duty stuff that is going to take a lot of wear and punishment where I might use the heavier duty version but I, I tend to just go go for this it comes in a good range of colors and um, yeah it's decent decent thread Right, once that's all sewn together, you need to turn that inside out. And then once you've got most of it through, I find that using a ruler or a stick or something, just to push up there and get the corners straight is really helpful. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to stitch all the way around the outside of that now, now that it's the right, the right way round, and that's just going to reinforce it and give a nice neat finish along the edge. Forget about that end for now. Okay, so to deal with this end here, this is your open end, which has those two raw edges and obviously if you left those they just fray um, we're gonna sew on some velcro and this is going to become the closing tab so if you fold that over just by about five millimeters and then 
that can be covered up by that Velcro tab once that's sewn on. If you see what I mean. And then that will close it all off. It'll keep that raw edge inside the, or behind the Velcro and, um, and stop it fraying. Starting to get an idea of what it's going to look like now. So this is going to be a little envelope. I'll be sewn along here and sewn along here. And then this will come right the way over the whole lot and fasten down at the bottom there. Okay, so before I do any of that, I need to make sure I've got that piece of Velcro sewn in. But I also need to make sure I've got this little strip down the back there, which is going to act as a sleeve to take the nano sticks. Well, I'm really happy with that. That's gonna be perfect for me for those times when I don't wanna carry the extra bulk of the firebox tin. And uh, the other bonus is that there's enough room in the pouch to slide some of those Tinder cards that you know I love so much. So I'll always have some Tinder with my firebox nano and it's there and good to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.